Dajjal took them for a ride. It's the last ride on which they'll ever go. After they had boasted of how they crucified him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded and listened to the ayah. Listen to it. Because in this ayah is located the historical process. He says, Wa'im min ahlil kitab illa la yu'minanna bihi qabla mawti. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكُونُ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدًا Allah is warning. He says, not a single one of you will escape. Every single Jew. On that day when the son of Mary comes back, and before he experiences mouth like everyone else, in كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِكَةُ الْمَوْتِ Every soul must taste death, including the son of Mary. So before that event takes place, when he returns, every single Jew will now have to accept him as the Messiah. I went in a synagogue in New York, and I told them that. <laughs> when the lecture was over, the Jews surrounded me. I was in the center, and they were all around me. And they were furious. They were demanding, why, why, why should we be forced to do something we don't want to do? So I said, on that day, you'll be able to see that which you're not seeing now. You will have, of course, they never invited me back to the synagogue. <laughs> and every Christian on that day, including the Pope, will have to accept that he is Nabi, Nabi Isa alayhi salam, exactly as Muhammad alayhi salatu salam said, and that he ain't no son of God, and there ain't no trinity. And so that is the end of Christianity. The cross is broken, and the swine are killed. But when they accept him now as Nabi and as Al-Masih, it will be of no benefit to them because this is the last moment now when this, the, the eyes are unveiled and you can now see because at that moment when the son of Mary comes back and they can now see now it's too late knowing that all that they had held on to as truth was falsehood and all that they had opposed and demonized and rejected as falsehood was the truth Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him, then informed that Allah had created a being and Allah had committed to that being the mission of impersonating the Messiah. pretending that he is the Messiah. So he is the great pretender. And that he is known as Dajjal. Al-Masih dajjal Dajjal, the false Messiah or the Antichrist. Dajjal means one who deceives. And so the Antichrist has a PhD in deception. In everything connected with the Antichrist, appearance and reality are opposite to each other. 
if the Antichrist is to successfully impersonate the true Messiah, it follows that he also must attempt to rule the world from Jerusalem with what would appear to be eternal rule. Only then can he declare, I am the Messiah. If he is to do that and convince the Jews that he is indeed the Messiah, then it follows logically. Number one, he would have to liberate the Holy Land for the Jews. Number two, he would have to bring them back to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. Number three, he would have to restore a state of Israel in the Holy Land and get them to believe that this is the Holy Israel of David and of Solomon. Of course, it would not be. It would be an imposter. Then they would be convinced. And finally, he would have to cause that state of Israel to become the ruling state in the world. Only then would he be able to rule the world from Jerusalem. Then he can get up and say, I am the Messiah. And they would believe that he is indeed the Messiah. And then he could rub his hands and he could say, mission accomplished. Israel can't get away now. Finish. Dajjal took them for a ride. It's the last ride on which they'll ever go. And now they'll face the end that Pharaoh faced when he was drowning. They will end the same way that Pharaoh ended. That's the end of Israel. They will now realize the truth that Pharaoh realized underneath the water. And they will die accepting that truth as Pharaoh died accepting the truth. I lived in New York for 10 years. <laughs> and during that time I interacted with the rabbis and with the Jews. And I can confirm to you, oh yes, they are waiting on the Messiah. And they believe the Messiah is around the corner. One day he's coming back. And the son of Mary will now rule the world from Jerusalem. With a rule which will be eternal. And the religion of Abraham. The true religion of Abraham would rule the world from the Holy Land. What Prophet Muhammad brought, Allah's blessings be upon him, is the religion of Abraham. And so that will be the end of history. Tell that to Francis Fukuyama for me. Tell that to Francis Fukuyama and Samuel Huntington for me. This is the truth, not what they have.